The Trump administration announced Wednesday that the U.S. is pulling nearly 12,000 troops out of Germany as part of a continental reorganization that has drawn bipartisan opposition in Congress. Defense officials say roughly half of the troops will return to the U.S. before being redeployed to other European countries. The others will be stationed elsewhere in Europe. The move would still leave about 25,000 troops in Germany. The current UCOM plan will reposition approximately 11,000 900 military personnel from Germany, from roughly 36,000 down to 24,000. Of the 11,900, nearly 5,600 service members will, re will be repositioned within NATO countries, and approximately 6,400 will return to the United States. Some have expressed concerns that reducing the U.S. military presence in Germany would weaken national security, but President Donald Trump says Germany has been taking advantage of U.S. protection. Foreign Policy magazine says Germany is not behind in paying fees, but has failed to meet NATO's defense spending target for members of 2% of a country's GDP. Fellow Republican Senator Mitt Romney called the move a slap in the face at a friend and ally. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper offered a different reasoning for the pullback, suggesting the drawback would deter Russia by repositioning troops in the Black Sea region. Pentagon officials stressed that only a small number of troops would move anytime soon. They said the rest of the transition will take years to complete, in part due to the billions of dollars the operation will cost. For Newsy, I'm Gage Jackson.